Okay, now this is the same concept. I just exploded it more so you could see how a cordless is going to slip into that PVC. Again, I think I did them out of four inch, the ones that I made out in my garage. Um, I've since then relocated them to an outside bench area where I can, when I'm working on the bench, I can just set it up and into that slot. And then there you go. And then I can just pull it down when I want. But these are really easy to make. Like I said, this gives you a close up view of it. Okay, now this is another idea. This is out of PVC, and I did a video, if you go through my playlist, on exactly how to do this. This four-inch round, I believe, PVC. Like I said, go back to my video. I show you how to cut this out, and I show you how, you know, you can screw that also up underneath a cabinet or to some kind of a shelf if you want to make one like this. Very easy to make. PVC very easily and readily available out at any of the big box stores. So you can pause this or take a snapshot of your phone. I mean, if there's anything here that we see or you see as we go through this. So let's keep moving. I'm going to show you some more pictures. Okay, now here's another one just made out of pine board. You can get this out at the big box too. And this is pretty neat how he made this because he's got a battery storage area. Chargers are on top and you just put it next to an outlet or something. And then all of your cordless are, you know, in the little things below. He's even got... You know, a sawzall that's uh, cordless in there. So all of these are hung up nice and neat. It's a good idea. Um, okay, let's keep going. Now here's another idea that somebody did, and they attached actually a power strip to it. Now I made one of these when um, I was at another house, and there was some leftover plywood, and this is easy to do. I did not knock those corners down that 30 degree angle at the top or whatever. I made it square. I didn't put the power strip on there. But there was some excess plywood laying around i think it was three quarter shop grade and i just cut this up real quick we used a hot glue gun to tack things into place and i did what he did here and i came down through it you know with screws but this is an easy project you can make this out of scrap wood too and then i got the comment when we were in the group somebody said well i don't know the dimensions without fooling around with this whole thing and yeah you're right i might not need the power strip i mean i could just run a plug over well, the power strip is there because if you put your chargers up there, everything can go into that power strip. So you might have more than one power bank that you want to plug in. I don't know, but that's the reason. But I'm going to show you how you can make this. Give me just a sec. Okay, so here are the basic dimensions for it. And then you can figure out, you know, the in-between part of this. But this gives you an idea if you want a little short bill of materials. Or you can go to the website. Give me a sec. Let me scoot my picture over to the right. This is a copy we got off of the web and we shared it within the group for those that wanted to go home and try to make something similar to this. It doesn't have to be exact, but it's just giving you, you know, a basic layout to go by and it gives you an idea on what materials to buy. So give me just a second. Let me move my picture. Okay, uh, someplace called a tool belt. You know, it's his copyrighted picture or whatever. I'm not trying to take credit for it. I didn't make this um, drawing. I didn't do any of this, but it was on the web. It was like on a free you know, site or something, and I just made a copy of it for you guys. So, all right, let's move on. All right, here's another one where the guy made those PVC holders, and then he painted it. Painted it like a John Deere green or whatever to, I guess, match whatever else he's got going on in his shop. So. Just, I, um, if I were you, I would take like 150 or 220 and I would scuff this up on the outside before you spray painted them. It's just going to um, add better adherence to the paint. So just a quick thought on that, but you can paint them. You did a nice job on these, so I thought these were cool. Okay, and so this is just another one showing you a made out of PVC and he just screwed it up underneath of a cabinet in his garage. Same thing. I just wanted to show you different pictures. Now this one I think he did a nice job on. He painted the wood part of this, made a little shelf where you see those boxes or those parts bends, and then he screwed it up underneath of his cabinet or whatever, and then you know he went ahead and did the PVC and he painted them like a DeWalt yellow. I thought it was pretty cool, even though he's got Makita's hanging in there, but it looks to me to be DeWalt yellow. But uh, again, scuff them real good with sandpaper and then paint them any color you want adds a nice little touch and he even did the little wood cubby holes so yeah it was, it was nice this is nice okay so now we're talking some really basic ways to make like a drill or a bit organizer you know for out in your garage now 
I took a four by four. It was just a cutoff. I think I got it off of a job site and somebody goes, what the hell do you want that for? It's just this little cutoff. He goes, but you can take as much as you want. So I took a bunch of these. Some of them I'll probably use, you know, for firewood. But the main idea here was on that four by four is I did kind of what he did is I marked, you know, I used a ruler. I marked a straight line and then I came back and I made the crosses and I went over to my drill press and I started drilling holes like this um, for drill bits originally. But this is a good idea. I mean, he's got other, you know, he's got hex head in here and standard Phillips, all that. But it's a good idea. It's a very cheap way. Um, I just set it on my workbench when I'm working and then I grab it. I can put it away, pull it back out. I set it there. It doesn't take up a lot of room. And it keeps everything kind of organized because it lets me know, hey, you know, you got a couple bits missing. You better go find them. And because uh, when I'm working, I end up leaving stuff laying all around till later on. And I'm trying to get in the habit of putting things back right away to stay organized. But this is one easy, quick tip way of doing it. You can use a cordless hand drill, a corded hand drill, a drill press or anything like that you want. I mean, to make this, I think it's a good idea. And then if you really want to have some fun, sand it up real good all right like we did in the past videos sand it put some kind of a finish on there you can play around like we did in the past videos you can add a little bit of toning to it you can stain it let it dry you can put a finish or you know you can do all kinds of things so you can have a little bit of fun with this simple project on this one you can see where he kind of 45 off the corners all the way around it i kind of did that i took a trim router and i just went and buzzed it around mine in 30 seconds or something and then you know, I sanded it up. I just put a coat of some stain I had laying around and, you know, it's fun just to play around with and then finish them. And it's like, well, you know, you don't really need to do that. No, you don't. But it was fun. All right, let's move on. OK, now I put this one up there. Now, this is a real plain Jane kind of a thing. I mean, where you can see uh, I think it's a two by four or you could use a two by six if you want more rows. And he figured out a way to put this up on his wall. OK, and then he turned around and he drilled holes all along in here this is how he keeps his drill bits organized this is very simple approach simple hand tools you can use a skill saw and a drill and you can create this exact same thing all right one more let's take a look okay i saved the best for the last in my opinion um after we were looking at all these photos a friend of mine was going to chuck this to the side as a little bit more of a difficulty level i mean to make for just a drill bit holder when we were supposed to be doing quick easy diy projects basic tools kind of approach when we were talking i couldn't help but i thought this guy did whoever did this did a fantastic job on there he's got his name over here the collective ism something like that anyway this is really cool and he created these arcs now whether he used a jigsaw a bandsaw i don't know but he doubled each one of these layers of this plywood and then he in this half circle he drilled holes and he made this like a bit holder and i thought this was neat it is neat looking i can just imagine you know if you spend a little bit of time sanding it not that you have to i get it playing around and you stain this this would be really cool. I mean, you know, you put little handles on the sides or whatever you want to do to pick it up and carry it around. But I thought this was a great idea. Now, he made it to where he can hold pens, pencils, drill bits, router bits, shaping bits. I mean, and he's a little tray down here where he can put wood screws and his hex heads, all this stuff, you know. So I thought this was a really clever idea. I think it's neat. And I'm, uh, well, I'm going to build one. And when I do, I'll do a video on it and show you how I do it to try to make things easier for you guys. Um, if you like this and you want to see me do the video or video it when I make it, drop me a comment. Let me know which one of these you're interested in, which one you favor, or is there another one out there that you think is better than the ones that I'm showing you? I threw these up like a slideshow to give you ideas. So let me know what you think. I'm the Home Handyman. I hope you click subscribe, hit that notification bell. Let me know if you like these videos and I'll keep doing them. You folks have a great weekend. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.